Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about instantaneous description of Turing machine. The instantaneous description of Turing machine describes the configuration of Turing machine. Now see the string of tape symbols on the tape from leftmost non-blank tape symbol to rightmost non-blank tape symbol. Let this string is W. Now divide this string W of tape symbols into two parts. <clears throat> First part will be the substring of tape symbols of string W which are at the left of read right head. Second part will be the substring of remaining tape symbols of string W. Now instantaneous description of Turing machine is written like this. First write the first part of the string W. Then write the current state of Turing machine and after this write the second part of string W. Now consider this configuration. In this case, a string of tape symbols from leftmost non-blank tape symbol to rightmost non-blank tape symbol on tape is A1, A2, A3, A4 up to AN. <coughs> now, now divide this string into two parts. Since the tape symbol currently under the read right hat is AI. So the first part will be the substring A1, A2, A3, A4 up to AI minus 1. And second part will be the substring AI, AI plus 1, AI plus 2 up to AN. And present state of Turing machine is Q1. This configuration of Turing machine is defined or described by this instantaneous description. A1, A2, A3, A4 up to AI minus 1, then Q1, then substring. AI, AI plus 1, AI plus 2 up to AN. Now, under special conditions, when the head is scanning one of the leading or trailing blanks, a finite number of blanks to the left or right of the non-blank portion of the tape must also be included in the instantaneous description. Now consider this configuration of Turing machine M. Present state of Turing machine is Q1 and the tape symbol which is currently under the read write hat is B. This configuration of Turing machine M can be is described by this instantaneous description. Now suppose there is a transition in Turing machine M. That is, if the Turing machine M is in a state Q1 and it reads the tape symbol B, then it will jump to the state Q2 and it will replace the tape symbol B by tape symbol A and move its head to the one position right. So what will happen when the Turing machine M is in state Q1 and uh, the tape symbol under its read right hat is B. It will read the tape symbol B and it will replace this tape symbol B by tape symbol A and it will jump to state Q2 
and it will move its head one position to the right. Now <coughs> the Turing machine M will come in this configuration and this configuration can be described by this instantaneous description. Now see these two instantaneous descriptions can be related by this symbol because the Turing machine M has reached in this configuration from this configuration in only one move right because uh, the Turing machine has reached in this configuration from this configuration in exactly one move so these two instantaneous descriptions could be related by this symbol here M de uh, denotes that we are talking about Turing machine M Now see if the Turing machine M reaches the configuration described by instantaneous description I2 from the configuration described by instantaneous description I1 in zero or finite number of moves then these two instantaneous descriptions I2 and I1 can be related by this symbol. Here M describes that we are talking about Turing machine M. Thank you very much.